At any time, there can be as many as four or five people here. Father Shay Casey has been helping students in Athlone for over 30 years. But he says the problem with accommodation has never been as bad. As you can see, the, the situation around me here with, with pillows and duvets and everything else, like, you know, we can have like five or six people sleeping here uh, in, in, in the sitting room. We, we would have contacts with people and they would be moved on. But like now, you're not sure they're going to be moved on. So how many, like how many people can you take in? You know, I was almost tempted to, to contact the army and get a tent for the back garden, you know, because it is an emergency situation here. So along with the university's chaplaincy team, Father Casey is getting beds and couches ready. 25-year-old Ali Akaram is a postgraduate student from Malaysia. From tomorrow, she is without accommodation. Very stressful. <laughs> it's, very, it's affecting my mental health a lot, actually. And I know a lot of students are facing the same way. Some of them were living in Airbnb. Um, hotels. I did view people, it's, it's so expensive, it's um, 640 to 700, even to 800 per month for a room, a single room. I might couch surf with a few of my friends. Um, I have a friend in Galway, <laughs> I might go around. And the students' union says demand is only going to grow. Come next week when the CEO offers are out, that's when the first year income students will come and they'll hit us and with their calls looking for accommodation and parents ringing up stressing. As another college year begins, for some, finding accommodation is proving to be the biggest test. 800 euros for a single room is scandalous in a loan, and no student can afford to pay that. We badly, badly need to build our own accommodation here, the student block. Sinead Hussey, RTE News, Athlone.